What we know about the deaths of six migrant children who perished in U.S. custody. Houston six migrant children, five from Guatemala and one from El Salvador, have died in federal custody since September. Most of the children died after becoming ill in Border Patrol's crowded temporary holding areas. On Monday, a 16-year-old died after being diagnosed with the flu. 32 people on Wednesday, the Trump administration said a 10-year-old girl from El Salvador with a history of congenital heart defects had died in a hospital in federal custody in September. The Los Angeles, the deaths have led advocacy groups and lawmakers to call for investigations into immigrant detention conditions on the border. On Thursday, when pressed by lawmakers this week about conditions and temporary holding facilities at the border, Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan acknowledged that those the deaths come amid a record increase in migrant families and children crossing the border. McAleenan appealed when McAleenan testified before Congress in December, he did not notify lawmakers that a seven-year-old girl had died in Border Patrol custody three days before. Homeland Security, hey race what we know so far about the children's deaths. Darlin Cristobal Cordova Valle, 10, El Salvador Days after 10-year-old Darlin Cristobal Cordova Valle crossed into the U.S. last year on her way from El Salvador to Nebraska, Border Patrol agents determined she had a debilitating heart condition. Darlin crossed the border on her own near Hidalgo, Texas, and was caught by Border Patrol agents at 9.45 p.m. March 1st, later that day, Health and Human Services placed Darlin at a Baptist Christian Family Services shelter in San Antonio, according to the Border Patrol statement. By then, she complications following a surgical procedure in San Antonio left the girl in a coma, Weber said. She was transported. Three days later, the girl was taken to Children's Hospital of Omaha, where she died because of fever and respiratory distress, Weber said. Darlin had somehow made it 1,400 miles to the border, according to Carlos Martinez, past president of the Salvadoran Civic Association of Nebraska, a nonprofit in Omaha, where Darlin's mother lives, that helped arrange legal and post mortem assistance for the girl's family. After she died, Darlin's body was sent back to El Salvador for burial, Martinez said. Jaclyn Kalmakin, 7, Guatemala Jaclyn Kalmakin died December 8, soon after she was apprehended by Border Patrol with her father after they entered the U.S. illegally, aiming to seek asylum. There were traces of Streptococcus bacteria in Jaclyn's lungs, adrenal gland, liver, and spleen, according to her autopsy. The infection led to Jaclyn was hospitalized about 12 hours after she and her father, Mary Gilberto Calcas, 29, were caught, according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. They were stopped with Jaclyn and her father were put on a bus bound for a border patrol station, and just before it left at 5 the next morning, he reported that she was vomiting, the border patrol said. When the bus arrived, before the autopsy results, U.S. officials claimed the girl had not been given food or water for days before being detained, a contention her father strongly denied through his attorneys. Felipe Gomez Alonso, 8, Guatemala Felipe Gomez Alonso died in Border Patrol custody on Christmas Eve. He suffered a stab. Felipe and his father, Agustin Gomez Perez, were caught by the Border Patrol in mid-December after seeking asylum in an attempt to escape extreme poverty, relatives told CNN. Gomez's daughter, once in Border Patrol custody, Felipe and his father were taken to several holding areas, including the Peso del Norte International Bridge in El Peso, where authorities later held people in hastily erected pens, with families sleeping on bare dirt. The day before Felipe died, the father and son were taken to the Border Patrol station in Alamogordo, NM, at about 1 a.m., Border Patrol said. An agent there no Felipe was hospitalized, registered a 103-degree fever and tested positive for the flu. He was held for Op. Juan de Leon Gutierrez, 16, Guatemala. 
After crossing the border on his own, Juan de Leon Gutierrez was sent to Casa Padre, a federally contracted shelter run by Austin based nonprofit Southwest Key in Brownsville, Texas. Border Patrol agents caught Juan near El Paso on April 19 and took him to Casa Padre the next day. Shelter staff Juan's former teacher told CBS News that he was a very when Juan missed class often because he had to help his father farm he would run out to the road at days and to find his teacher walking home and explain. Juanito Wilmer Josue Ramirez Vasquez, 21-2, Guatemala Wilmer Josue Ramirez Vasquez died May 14 after being hospitalized for weeks in Texas, according to U.S. and Guatemalan authorities. He was taken into custody with his mother by Border Patrol agents April 3 near Peso del Norte International Bridge. Three days later, the boy remained hospitalized for about a month before he died. Guatemala's consul in Del Rio, Texas, said the boy had a high fever and difficulty breathing, and had been diagnosed with pneumonia. The El Peso met Carlos Hernandez Vasquez, 16, Guatemala. Carlos Hernandez Vasquez was found unresponsive Monday morning in a Border Patrol temporary holding facility, hours after a nurse diagnosed him with the flu, an agency spokesman said. The team was taken into custody after crossing the southern border in Texas Rio Grande Valley on May 13 with 70 other migrants, according to the agency. He was held at a pro It's not clear why Carlos was not hospitalized or how frequently he was checked during his final hours. Border Patrol of It's also not clear why Border Patrol didn't transfer Carlos to the Department of Health and Human Services within 72 hours, as required by law for youths who arrive at the border without parents. Border Patrol of The FBI, local police, and the Department of Homeland Security Inspector General are investigating the boy's death. Visit the Los Angeles Times at Smoking on cooking the hot pot. Yeah, working on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.